Hello. Helen here from HelenMartinOnline.com. How are you going today? Hopefully you can see me and hear me okay. I'm actually coming to you live from LA, from Los Angeles. I am a long way from home and it takes a long time to get here. But I'm here um, safely. I've had an interesting trip. Um, the person sitting next to me on the aeroplane was um, not very talkative nor nice and the taxi driver when I got to LA was clearly not in the best mood. So I've had some interesting people I've come across in the last, uh, well since I've been here. Anyway, I'm not here to talk to you about that. I'm here because um, for those of you in the home based business, I'm here to talk to you about a likes campaign. So this is a training topic for those of you in a home based business. If you have not connected with me before on a live, um, yes, it's Helen here, Helen Martin from HelenMartinOnline.com. Please uh, pop a one below and uh, tell me where you're coming in from because I do like to go back after the video and just say hello to those people that are new to me. Even if you're watching on the replay, um, it's nice to connect with new people. So, a likes campaign. Um, so last week, for those of you in the home based business with the training topic I spoke about, it was about branding. Do you need to brand yourself on social media? Why do you need to brand yourself on social media and some tips how to do it? So if you caught that video, that training video from last week, this is a continuation of that in relation to a likes campaign. So if you are trying to take your business online, if you are interested in branding yourself and um, online and really giving it a red hot go of trying to build your network marketing business, your home based business online, then you need to brand yourself online. Now that's last week's video so if you've missed that please go back um, and catch that video. So what do we do once we get there? How, once you've branded yourself online, you've got your name up in lights, you've got um, your photo and your name and you've branded yourself, how do you get people to your page? So if you just let that page um, you know, sit there and hope that people come to it, it's going to be a really long journey. So what we can do to speed it up, to get people onto that page and liking your page so you're building a following and you're building your audience, is we run this thing called a likes campaign. So essentially what that does for us is you go out to Facebook and you say, Facebook, find me my perfect audience. Go and find me, men or women or both, that are aged between uh, you know, 25 and 55 or 30 and 60, whatever's relevant to you, whatever your target market is. I want them to live in this country, that country, those countries, this area, wherever your target market is. And I want them to be interested in whatever it is your um, products uh, you know promote so that might be skincare it might be weight loss it might be travel um, it might be health and wellness whatever you are targeting before you run this likes campaign you need to know who is your target audience you must do that exercise first so who are you trying to attract and who are you trying to attract to get to your page now, as I said previously, you could do this organically. You could just set your page up and hopefully people will find you. But if you do that, it's going to take a very long time to find your fans. It's going to take a very long time to get people to like your page. So why we do a likes campaign is we go and ask Facebook to find those people for us and speed it up. So we say to Facebook, go and find me those people that I just spoke about and ask them to go and like my page. So you do what is called a likes campaign. So to do that, once you've set up your business page, your fan page, you need to have an ads manager account. So you need to have an ads account. So you set that up first and then you run what we call a campaign. And that campaign is called an engagement campaign because you're trying to engage people to your um, page and then once you do that engagement campaign you set up a likes campaign now the actual technical side of that you're probably thinking okay Helen that sounds great but how the hell do I do that for those of you that are interested in um, growing your likes on your page maybe you haven't done a likes campaign before um, or you, you um, you've done one but you're not sure if you've set it up properly for those of you that this is relevant to pop the number two below and I will send you a link 
to an actual video that shows you on the screen how to do it. So it'll map out, okay, um, start your ads campaign, number two, so we're creating a new ad, number three, we're creating um, an engagement campaign, pain. number four, it's called a likes campaign, number five, so it'll actually map out for you how to actually execute this um, in your ads manager. So as I said before, those of you that this is relevant to, that you are interested in or need to learn how to do a likes campaign for your business page, your fan page, then just drop the number two below and I will actually send you the link, um, sorry, that's just an alert there, a link through to an actual YouTube video that shows you how to do it. So um, the actual step-by-step -step process. Now trust me, if you are um, learning how to brand yourself online and doing it properly, you need to do this likes campaign. If you try to do it organically, you can, but it's going to take you a very long time to get your followers. By doing a likes campaign, you are getting pre-qualified leads. You've already told Facebook who it is that you want to attract, and you're asking Facebook to get them to come to you and like your page. So there are already people, the people that are following you on your page are pre-qualified people. They are already interested in the space that you are talking talking about. That makes a major difference to your business than just people finding you and liking your page or your friends and family that may have no interest in buying your stuff, may have no interest in um, building your business with you, um, you know, building um, this little empire together. If your family and friends aren't those people, then it doesn't mean anything to you if they like your page. You want those pre-qualified people to come to you, like your page, and they're the people that you want to talk to. So that's the added benefit of a likes campaign. It's the right people that are coming to you and liking your page, those pre-qualified people. So. As I said before, if you want the actual step-by-step -step of how to do a likes campaign, excuse me, another alert, um, if you actually want to really build your following on your business page, then a likes campaign is a really good way to do it. Minimum $5 a day to do it. You can throw more at it if you want to and grow your likes um, quicker. It's up to you what you choose to do. So I hope that's of some use to you, of you that are going online for the very first time, you've branded yourself or starting to brand yourself and you want to grow your following on your fan page, then the likes campaign is the way to do it. So I hope that's of help to some of you that are, that are doing that. And um, I'm in lockdown for the next three days at a workshop over here in LA. I'm forever the student. The day you stop learning is the day that you die. You've always got to keep learning and growing your business and growing yourself, you know, whatever it is that you want to grow in in life. So I will keep you tuned as to what I'm learning over here on my next Facebook Live. Bye.